Good morning, welcome to Breakfast with Charlie State and Nagat Manchetti. Our headlines, no need to... Good morning, it's Friday the 10th of July. Our top story today, foreign travel to dozens of countries without the need to quarantine on return is possible from today as government advice against all but essential travel is formally lifted. The list of places includes holiday destinations like France and Italy and means that tourists from the UK will be able to visit them without having to isolate on return. But ministers are advising against all travel on cruise ships, as John McManus now reports. So, the government has announced the latest easing of lockdown restrictions in England, with some leisure facilities and beauty services allowed to re... So gyms in Northern Ireland are set to reopen today. That becomes the first in the UK to welcome people back after the easings of, easing of restrictions. England's going to follow on the 25th of July. There isn't a set date for Scotland and Wales. So let's speak to our Ireland correspondent, Chris Page, who is at a gym today trying to give you a sense of the changes, and a lot of them are kicking in today. So face coverings are mandatory in shops in Scotland from today, and those who don't comply could be fined £60. So that's one of a number of changes to lockdown restrictions coming into force this morning. Our Scotland correspondent Lorna Gordon has more. MPs have warned that there's a serious risk that parts of England will run out of water within the next 20 years unless urgent action is taken. Already. Is he still there? I think he's trying to get off in a... Can I just... He's, he's I just want on. to Hang know on. if he's... Do you want to say something to him? Katie, Billy, if he's still Charlie's there... trying to say something. Katie, if he's still there, can I just... Can you he, just talk me through the picture on the T-shirt? Yes, T -shirt? he's still here. He's I want to know... I want to know when the... Uh, when that was and what was the I... circumstances around the photograph oh. on the T-shirt. <laughs> You've set me... That's a one happy, happy uh, family there. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll be back with you for the, throughout the morning this morning. A lot of interest in, obviously, just how things are going to work in practice. If you are watching this morning, and, and I know a lot of people maybe are doing the same thing, you, you, I'm going to argue about, it, now that you can go away, do you want to? Uh, and a lot of people are asking those questions. Maybe you've got some of those questions yourself. Lots of people also concerned... Not only about the safety aspects, because sitting on a plane and stuff, and these things we'll all cover um, during the programme this morning, but also how what it would be like the other side yeah. in, in those countries with the restrictions. So ten, send in your thoughts by all means, usual way, email or social media. Um, it's 18 minutes past six. Yeah, we're talking about rules and regulations varying all around the world. Uh, let's get a sense of that now in Italy. Yeah, visitors are returning to Rome and Vatican City. Our correspondent Quentin Somerville has been checking out some of the sites. Never loses its beauty. No, that. absolutely. A lot of people will be loving the fact that people are able to go once again yeah. and see those places. Absolutely. Um, let's really take a look at the papers. You, why are we getting them back? Uh, a herd of four, sorry, will live in a fenced enclosure. Uh, you can deem to be good for the uh, environment. And, huh. uh, yeah, I mean, what an extraordinary sight that will be. I love that picture. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's great. They are such sticking extraordinary out. looking animals. Stunning animals. Um, Charlie, if um, a bear came into your backyard, what actor or actress would you like to scare it away? Which actor or actress would you like it to scare away? A big black bear came into your, um, um, into your backyard. Oh, uh, who do you think would be effective at scaring? Oh, I did have away? someone in my mind just then. Uh, okay, can you? Give, I haven't got time to think about this. Female but... and um, um, sh a female um, actor and who shouted. Joan Collins. How about Joan Collins? Wow, it's not a bad guess. Um, and she shouted, "Bad bear, bad naughty bear, very naughty bear," and the bear ran away out of her um, backyard. This is when she was um, in the United States. Who is it? Helen Mirren. Uh, Helen, um, this bear came, came into her backyard um, in L Lake Tahoe, um, sort of looked at her and lumbered off. Um, he was a big black bear and she'd been recently, just before the bear appeared, had been reading a pamphlet about wildlife in the area and they said if you encounter a bear... Is that what you're supposed to do? If it's looking aggressively at you and hunching its back and looking like it's about to charge, it said, make yourself look as big as possible... Um, grab a stick, if you can, to make yourself look big. And then the pamphlet literally said, shout, bad bear, bad bear. And it works. Well, uh, I guess if you have the kind of delivery that Helen Mirren has as yes. well. It would carry a little extra resonance, Yeah, she would it? project really well, wouldn't which she? Which is the wild animal that if Mirren. you encounter, you're supposed to run in a zigzag formation, which confuses it. Someone will know. Someone will know. Who is it, Susan? A goat. A goat? Is it a goat? A it's a bull. Oh, there you go. There you go.
What you didn't see is our camera woman literally doing that, thinking that we understood. <laughs> Took us a while to work out what it was as well. I thought it was a rabbit. <laughs> 6.24 is the time. Uh, we've got all the sport coming up for you a little later on. And lots of information for you about all the changes that are happening in connection with uh, the COVID restrictions which are changing. So a lot of that coming up throughout the programme this morning. We go now to a victory that became one of the most defining moments of the Second World War and the Nazis' first defeat. Today marks 80 years since the start of the Battle of Britain. The Spitfire was one of the iconic aircraft that took part, and now the RAF have recognised for the first time that a 13-year-old girl played a vital role in the plane's design. Sophie Rayworth has this report. Responsibility for that, Holly, but it's been really interesting <laughs> seeing how it all works in the pool area. So once you've finished, once you've finished swimming, you are allowed to change, use the changing rooms to, to get dry and everything, even though there are no, no hair dryers and things like that. Exactly. Thank you very much, Fiona. We're also marking the 80th anniversary of the start of one of the most important victories during the Second World War, the Battle of Britain. Matt is at the Imperial War Museum in Duxford for us where preparations are underway for those commemorations too. It's quite a scene there, Matt, and I know you love looking round there. 